Hi everybody, here we are once again at, let's see, story number two of The Seven Habits of Happy Kids by Sean Covey. Oops, let me see. There you go. Okay. So the first one we covered was Be Proactive. Remember the story was called Board, Board, Board? And the habit number one is be proactive and you're in charge. Number two, while we're reading the second story called Toodles, wait, it's called Goob and the Bug, Bug Collecting Kit. So while we're reading the story, let's see if you can figure out what the second habit we should have is. Okay, so here we go. Goob was walking by Toodles Toy Store when he saw a bug collecting kit in the window. It was on sale for $4. Wow, said Goob. I wanted a kit like that for a long time, but I don't have $4. I need to earn it. I need to come up with a plan. Goob went home and wrote down a list. There it is. There's his list. Save some money. Number two, buy bug collecting kit. Number three, buy present for... Allie's birthday and number four buy pizza with honey on top and number five go to the movies just then jumper stopped by what's that goob I'm making a list of things I want to do said goob wow can I be a part of your game plan asked jumper sure said goob i have a great idea let's sell lemonade it's really hot out and folks will want to buy a cold drink and that afternoon goob and jumper set out set up their lemonade stand there they are okay. sammy and sophie were the first to stop by Lemonade, said Sammy. I'll buy a cup. Me too, said Sophie. This heat is oppressive. Goob and Jumper looked at each other. I have no idea what you just said, said Jumper. Hot, said Sophie. It's really hot. Looks like they're enjoying their lemonade, don't you think? I hope I'm giving you enough time to look at the picture. Next, Lily Skunk and Tag Along Alley stop by. I'll buy a cup for Tag Along Alley and two cups for me, said Lily. And then Alley and I are going to my house to color. Isn't that right, Alley? White, said Alley. After a few hours, Goob and Jumper had sold all their lemonade and they had made $20. Wow, we're rich, said Goob. Let's divide it up. Here's $10 for you and $10 for me. Home run, said Jumper. I know just what I'm going to spend my money on. And off he ran to Toodles Toy Store. Jumper bought two candy bars, some bubble gum, and a bag of popcorn, which he ate right away. Then he got himself a cheap yo-yo, which broke after three tries, and a small squirt gun, which he lost on his way home. And meanwhile, Goob went home and read over his list. He put one dollar in a jar for saving. There you go. Okay. So here they are splitting their money, ten dollars each. Here is Jumper eating all of his goodies that he bought. And then the yo-yo that he bought that broke after three tries. And then he lost the squirt gun somewhere on the way home. And in the meantime, Goob did the smart thing and he put one dollar to his saving. Next he went to Toodles and bought the bug collecting kit for four dollars. Then he spent two dollars on a little mirror for Tag Along Alley's birthday present. And on his way home, he stopped at Penny's place and bought himself a slice of honey pizza for one dollar. And he still had two dollars left to go to the movie. As Goom was walking along, Jumper caught up to him. Where are you heading, Goom? He asked. To the movies, said Goom. I wish I could go, said Jumper with a sigh, but I spent all my money. On what? Lots of stuff, said Jumper. My money just kind of disappeared. You should have 
planned ahead, said Goom. I was able to get everything on my list. Jumper's ears and whiskers drooped. I guess I dropped the ball, he said. There you go. So Goom bought his bug kit. Then he bought the mirror for Allie's birthday. And then he got himself a pizza a piece of pizza which he had planned for and now he's going off to the movie and then jumper is the rabbit don't let it bug you said goom now you know what to do next time oh you're smart said jumper have fun at the movie you can have fun too said goom i have two dollars left enough for both of us to go to the dollar movie the giant spider eats the blob is showing. Come on, let's go. So off they went to the movie together. Okay, the end. Now I want you to think about what the habit is that you got, that you um, gathered from the story. Okay, so think about it before I tell you what it is. Or you can pause this and think about it. But habit number two is begin with an end in mind. All that means is have a plan. So some things that you can discuss or talk with your parents is, or think about is what was Goob's plan? So his plan was, you read, we read the story. How much money did Goob and Jumper make? And how did they divide it? Question number three, how did Jumper spend his money? How did Goob spend his money? Who spent their money in a better way? Number four, how was Goob able to help Jumper in the end? And number five, why is it important to plan ahead? Okay, and then some things that you can do, it's called baby steps. Okay. I'll let you see that page. I hope you can see that without too much. There we go. Too much of a glare. So the baby steps is right here. And baby steps are things, little things that you can begin to do. That you can do, start to do, and you get into good habits, right? Number one, lay out your clothes for tomorrow before you go to bed. Before you go to bed tonight. And number two, Get out a pencil and a piece of paper and write down three goals you want to do. Put the paper in a safe place where you can see it. Number three, tell your mom or dad what you want to be when you grow up. And number four, we all, we all have something we need to get bet better at. We all have something we need to get better at, like doing our homework, brushing our teeth at night, or obeying our parents. Ooh, your parents are gonna like that one. Pick one thing you need to be better at. Pick one thing you need to do better and start doing it, okay? I hope you enjoyed the story and I will see you next time, okay?